Human Eye Refractive Errors Displayed here is a section of a human eye. Function of each part will appear on the screen. Drag and drop the part to its place. What is normal vision? Let's first understand how normal vision occurs. The sequence in which the image is formed is shown here. Light from the object enters the eye through the cornea, the clear dome-shaped surface that covers the front part of the eye. From the cornea, the light passes through the pupil. The amount of light passing through the pupil is regulated by the iris, the colored part of your eye. From there, the light then hits the lens, the transparent structure inside the eye that focuses light rays onto the retina. Next, it passes through the vitreous humor, the clear, jelly-like substance that fills the center of the eye and helps to keep the eye round in shape. Finally, it reaches the retina, the light-sensitive layer that lines the back of the eye, where the image appears inverted. The optic nerve then carries the messages to the brain and is responsible for interpreting the impulses it receives into images. A normal eye sees objects clearly between infinity and the least distance of distinct vision. At times the eye fails to do so either due to the change in focal length of the lens or due to the deformation of cornea. As a result, the image is not formed on the retina. These abnormalities in the normal vision of the eye are known as refractive errors. Myopia Myopia is an eye defect due to which the eye is not able to see distant objects clearly. This occurs when the light rays entering the eye converge in front of the retina in the vitreous body. Here you can see the formation of image in a normal eye and in a myopic eye. In the case of a normal eye, the rays of light from the object fall on the eye and converge on the retina. Whereas in the case of a myopic eye, the light rays are focused in front of the retina. Myopia is caused due to elongation of the eyeball, that is, the distance between the retina and the eye lens is increased, decrease in the focal length of the eye lens. A concave lens is used to rectify this optic abnormality. The ray diagram shows how a concave lens helps in focusing the light on the retina. This defect is commonly known as nearsightedness. Hypermetropia or hyperopia. Hypermetropia or hyperopia is an eye defect in which distant vision is clear while near vision is blurred. This occurs when the light rays entering the eye converge behind the retina. Here you can see the formation of image in a normal eye 
and in a hypermetropic eye. In the case of a normal eye, the rays of light from the object fall on the eye and converge on the retina. Whereas, in the case of a hypermetropic eye, the light rays are focused behind the retina. Hypermetropia is caused due to shortening of the eyeball, that is, the eyeball becomes smaller, increase in the focal length of the eye lens, a convex lens is used to rectify this optic abnormality. Astigmatism Astigmatism is the most common vision problem resulting in distorted images as light rays are prevented from meeting at a common focus. Astigmatism may accompany hypermetropia or myopia. What causes astigmatism? Normally, the cornea is spherical in shape. But in an astigmatic eye, the cornea is shaped more like an oblong rugby ball. The oblong shape causes light rays to focus on two points rather than on just one point. You can see here how the lines on a graph paper appear to a normal eye and an astigmatic eye. An astigmatic eye cannot simultaneously focus all objects or lines. That is, an astigmatic eye may see only vertical lines or horizontal lines on a graph paper. This can be corrected by using cylindrical lenses. Presbyopia Presbyopia is caused when the center of the eye lens hardens, making it unable to accommodate near vision. This condition generally affects almost everyone over the age of 50, even those with myopia. Eyeglasses with bifocal or progressive lenses are prescribed to correct or improve the condition. The contact lenses used by presbyopes are multifocal lenses. Here is an exercise to assess your comprehension. The questions will appear one at a time on the screen. To keep your score valid, refrain from wild guessing. 